What's up everybody? It's James and Jazz and we've got an awesome exercise demonstration video for you using, you guessed it, the resistance bands and a door anchor. You never knew you had a home gym, right? So take it away, babe. That's right. The last couple of weeks you might have noticed we did uh, resistance bands and the door anchor for your chest, for your back. Today we're going to focus on the arms. Using that door anchor, there are so many more exercises you can do when you're anchored to the door with resistance bands. So meet us over at the door and we'll show you how to use it and some of those great arms exercises, biceps and triceps. Let's do it. All right, welcome to our entryway. I'm going to show you how to use this door anchor if you haven't seen any of our videos using them yet. And we're going to do six different exercises, three exercises for the biceps to start and then three for the triceps to end. So we're going to start on the top of the door. So we're going to put this door anchor, as you can see, it's fatter on the one end and then the rest of it is looped. So we're going to put that fat in in the top of the door. Our door isn't sealed quite as well, so I like to stick something on the door anchor to make sure that the door anchor doesn't slip out. So you want to make sure that your door uh, is sealed well. You want to test it out to make sure it doesn't pull through. Um, when I did that, it pulled through from the bottom. The top was fine, but so we're going to go to the top of the door, put that door anchor there. And those of you, you might be asking, how do I get a door anchor? Well, a lot of resistance band kits that you order come with the door anchor. Otherwise, perhaps you can look online uh, for a door anchor for resistance bands. So anyway, we're going to run this through that loop now. And we're just going to test that it's not going to come through the door. That's very important. Pull on this, whatever you got to do to make sure it's safe. You don't want the bands snapping back at your face. All right, so we're going to start with palms up bicep curls. We're going to try to train the full biceps and the full triceps today. So you're going to notice we're switching up our grip throughout the whole workout so we can hit all the different parts of the biceps, all the different parts of the triceps. So we're going to start with the palms facing up. It's called a peak curl. So we're really going to be bringing those elbows up and trying to train the peaks of the bicep, the part that pops up. So this is going to look like this. I'm going to grab those. My palms are facing up. I'm going to step back, take a stagger step, elbows up, and I'm just going to curl like this. <sighs> Breathing out as you are curling toward your body. It's exhale on the exertion. All right, so how can you increase your resistance? I'm going to tell you this now. If you want more resistance, you step further away. All right, that's one way to get more resistance. You want less resistance, step closer. Also, there are different weights of bands. Here, I just had the light ones, or these are medium for this demonstration. I just grabbed the medium bands, but some bands come with multiple bands. Uh, so you can click on heavier ones, or perhaps you want to click on two or three, because this has just a little clip. I can clip on multiple bands. So that's one way that you can get more resistance. So our next exercise is going to come from the bottom of the door. So I'm going to pull this out, put it underneath the door. Then I'll make sure it goes outside the door. Then I want to pull it, make sure it's not going to slip out. I'll lock that door too. Now we're going to do hammer grip bicep curls. So first I had the palms facing up. Now I'm going to have my palms facing in toward my body for a hammer grip. That's how you would hold a hammer to hammer. So that's going to hit a different part of your bicep as well. So we're going to grab these. Hammer grip is going to look like this. I'm going to turn the resistance bands in toward my body, as you can see right here. Step out, take your stagger step, chest up, shoulders rolled back, and you're simply going to curl up. Keeping those elbows in tight toward the body. All right, so that's hammer curl. Hammer's going to hit lower on that bicep. So as you can see, when I do a peak curl, you can see my bicep you can see the peak, it's more of a mountain. When I turn that grip in, you notice it's going to hit a different part of the bicep. It's gonna to help to elongate that bicep. So that's just a little bit of why I'm switching the grip. Now we're gonna switch the grip once again and hit even lower on that bicep by doing a reverse grip bicep curl. So palms are facing the ground this time. See, they're facing down. I even take what's called a false grip. So instead of wrapping my thumb around the band, I go on top of the band. Chest up, shoulders rolled back, and curl like that. 
breathing out as I curl up. You could also, if you decided, you could face the door too if you wanted, if you like that better. For the, for the hammer or this, it looks like that. Taking that stagger step. So those are the three different exercises I want to encourage you to do for your biceps. So now we'll kick in to the triceps. We're going to go back to the top of the door. Just pull these out. I'm going to pull this. Make sure it's nice and tight. So the first one we're going to do is a reverse grip tricep press down. Again, we're going to be switching up our grip a lot with the triceps as well. So reverse grip, that means my palms are going to be facing the ceiling and I'm going to press down like that. So palms facing the ceiling like so. See they're facing up. Now I'm going to press down like that. Taking that stagger step, chest up, elbows in tight. All right, and then my next one is going to be a hammer grip tricep press down. So I'm gonna take these grips. I wanna make sure that I, my palms are facing in toward my body. See they're facing in like I'm holding a hammer right now. And same idea, press down. Really squeezing through those triceps, breathing out as I press down. All right, now we're going to do a, we're going to take the, the bands and bring them to the bottom of the door for our last tricep exercise. We're going to do what's called a tricep kickback. So what that's going to look like is I'm going to have my palms facing the ground this time because I do want to switch up the, the grip. So you can see my palms are facing down as I'm holding the bands. I'm just going to bend over like this. I'm going to kick back. I'm going to keep my elbows in tight to my sides. And I don't want to move them up and down like this. I want to keep them in the same place so my biceps are parallel to the ground throughout the whole exercise. And I'm just kicking back. <sighs> Squeezing tight through those triceps as I press up. Breathing out as I press up. <sighs> Slow and controlled. There you go. So those are the six different exercises, three biceps, three triceps that you can do using the resistance bands and the door anchor. I'll meet you back at the wall with Jasmine. All right, y'all. Thanks so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want more of these, please check out the past few weeks of videos. We did chest and back using the same equipment yep. and then upcoming we've got legs and shoulders so check yeah. those out yeah. um, other than that y'all we have a lot more that we do than physically fit videos so i want to encourage you to go to jamesandjazz.com you'll click on that videos tab then you'll see the three different sections of videos that we film uh, typically on mondays we put up our spiritual videos so i want to encourage you to check those out we want to help you not only to grow physically, but to grow spiritually as well. Very important, y'all. And then also relationally, I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But our spiritual videos, we had been going through Bible study with us. We've gone through the whole book of James. We've gone through the whole book of John. We also do topical stuff, so we're looking to do some more topical stuff. And then dive into Philippians and a bunch of other books of the Bible. So I want to encourage you to check those out. Click on that tab and you'll see what we filmed already. And then we also have, as you can see, physically fit videos. We typically try to get those up on Wednesdays. So um, body part specific workouts using dumbbells, using resistance bands, using we've done some kettlebell stuff. We've done some cardio in place, full length workouts, body part specific. So you know exactly what to do. You can do those full length workouts with us. Then you get instruction. You have an instructor throughout the whole workout, so we encourage you to check those out. Or you might appreciate something more like this, where it's exercise demonstrations with dumbbells, with resistance bands and whatnot. So we encourage you to check those out as well. Uh, beyond that, y'all, we also have our life and relationship videos. The life stuff is a great way to get to know us better. We share some monumental moments in our life, some trips that we've gone on, things like that. So we want to help you to get to know us better. So that's kind of what we do through our life videos. And then relationships, we want to make sure that you're relationally fit as well. So we offer some advice on dating and, and different things like that. So 
we encourage you to check out that life and relationships category as well. And we do want to make sure that you're up to date with all that's going on with us. One way you can stay up to date is through our social media. So if you're at jamesandjazz.com, you're going to notice at the top and the bottom of the page, we have our social media links. So we have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. So be sure to like, follow, subscribe to those. We'd appreciate that. Yes. And if you scroll to the bottom of our website, jamesandjazz.com, you'll find where you can subscribe to our email list. So you'll be in the know with all the exciting news going on. Right next to that, you can book us to speak at an event. So yeah. whether it's at a church or a school or a conference, give us the details and we'll get back to you. And then at the top of our website, you will see a tab that says donate. We give all these videos to you guys for free just because we want to pour into you and we want you to be the best, best version of yourself possible. Yeah. So if these have impacted you, if you're thankful for these, please consider donating financially. Obviously yeah. no obligation or pressure, but um, $5 helps, anything helps. So that yeah. donate tab gives you all information on how you can partner with us via uh, Patreon, Venmo, and PayPal. And then additionally, check out that courses tab for all of you Christian ladies wanting to develop into the Proverbs 31 woman that God designed you to become. And then check out all of the courses that will be coming in the future. Stay tuned. So, yeah, look forward to seeing you soon at jamesandjazz.com.